hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to go and talk about node affinity and pod anti-affinity so there are two different terms there's node affinity and pod anti-affinity right so we'll I'll, I'll be telling you what exactly this does mean right so let's just proceed let me clear the screen so we'll not waste any time and just go into action so node affinity it's very similar to what we did in the last video which is node selector and node name so it's a way of basically scheduling your pods manually and telling a pod to get scheduled on a specific node right so that thing you specify using node affinity pod anti affinity is when you don't want a pod two pods of similar kind to be scheduled on the same node right so this is very helpful when you're creating deployments so maybe you have like say two worker nodes and you create like say two replicas in a deployment so you wouldn't you would not want those two replicas to be scheduled on one node right you would want that one replica goes on one node and the other replica goes on the other node so you can use pod anti-affinity rules to basically decide that right so this was the theory of what node affinity and what is pod anti-affinity now we'll just look at the examples of node affinity and pod anti-affinity right let's go so let me see if i have any pod running ctl get pods so we have one from running like last 25 days all right so we don't care much about that we we'll clear the screen again and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a pod or basically create a yaml file say pod one and again we'll use our favorite image nginx and dry run yaml this is all you know so just i'm not going to explain this again right and we're going to go and save it into pod1.yaml we'll go into pod1.yaml and we'll get rid of things which we don't need all right so let me just save this file and come back to an important point before we go and create our node affinity rules is that we need labels on our pods right so let's do just do kubectl get pods or get nodes not pods and we need to see the labels all right so you can see on my worker one i have the label power is equal to flight all right so we are going to use this label all right let's clear the screen go inside pod1.yaml and now we start our node affinity so i want this no this pod to be scheduled on node one right so to do that the first property which i'm going to use is affinity so this is actually a bit complex i'll tell you beforehand i mean you could do the same thing using node selector uh, in just one line couple of lines and but you will see that we'll write the same logic but in say five six lines right but this actually offers you much granular approach much uh, you can say flexibility there are a lot of options that goes in here right you can do things like not in and you can i can i mean you can make exceptions right instead of say preference you can make exceptions so suppose if you want to schedule this pod uh, on a node which does not has that label right so you can do that also using node affinity so we'll see that okay so next thing we'll go into next property i would be node affinity and then we'll just define a property which is required during scheduling ignore during execution right i hope this sentence i mean it's not a property it's a complete sentence and it makes sense right so required during scheduling so 
this actually uh, direct uh, instruct Kubernetes or Kube API server to actually look into node definitely only when it's scheduling the pods, right? So suppose if I schedule a pod and I put that on a node which has a label of power is equal to flight, but later on I go and remove that label, right? So what happens to the pod that that are scheduled on that node, right? So that is uh, governed by this ignore during execution. So even if I uh, remove the labels, the pod which are uh, scheduled, so you can see it says required during scheduling. So that is a required property. And if I remove that property after the pods are scheduled, nothing will happen to the pod. Those pod will still exist on that particular node, right? All right, uh, required during scheduling, ignored during coming back down. And don't use tabs in Vim, um, otherwise you'll get the syntax error in YAML. I got that. Right, so next thing is node selector terms, use space, and it will be match expressions. So make sure you have S in terms and expressions. And then we'll say key. So our key was power. And then we are going to use the most important property, which is operator, which I was telling you. So using this operator, you can make exceptions. So instead of checking for this particular label, you can check all the nodes. You can schedule your pods on all the nodes in which this label does not exist, right? So, but in this case, I'm going to say in, so the power in and values and my value was flight. So you can see it's going to schedule this pod on a node which has this key as label and the value of that key is flight, right? All right, if we have not made any errors, this should work. Otherwise, we'll solve errors, as simple as that. kubectl by pod1.yaml. And we have made an error. So what's, okay, ignore during execution. Execution. So we got the execution spelling wrong. Come down. Exe cu execution. Right. Make sure that you get the spelling right. Unlike me. We'll try again. And again, something is wrong. And node selector expected an array sorry expected map got an array all right uh, i think i've made a mistake over here i believe because this property shouldn't be Now let's just adjust our all right. I think this should work. Let me clear the screen and then again. And finally, the pod is created. So let's just quickly do kubectl get pods hyphen o y and you can see that this pod has gone on our worker one which is what we wanted right okay so this is how node affinity works now let's quickly look into pod anti affinity so the next pod which i'm going to create i don't want it to get scheduled on worker one all right so for that what i'm going to do is uh, kubectl 
describe pod pod one. So I just need to see if there is any label. So I think I removed the label, right? So you can see there's none. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to label this pod kubectl uh, label pod pod one and the label which I want is power is equal to run. So this pod is a very fast runner like flash. So that is why it has the power of run. Okay, pod is labeled. Just to double check, we should have the label. Power is equal to run. You can see the label is there. Clear the screen. And now I'm going to create another pod. kubectl run pod two. Again, image would be nginx, and again dry run. So this is all we have done several times. And we're going to redirect this to pod two dot yaml. All right, we'll go inside pod two. And this, while creating these yaml file, you actually need to pay a lot of attention because there are a lot of things that can go wrong. Like you see, like you saw in the last, I mean, when we were creating for no definity, we were making spelling mistakes. The property is going haywire, right? So I'm doing this on top of my head. So that's why I'm making all these silly mistakes. But you should actually refer to the documentation every time. So even in exam, you are allowed to refer to the documentation, right? So, yeah. All right. So start, we'll start writing our pod anti-affinity node, uh, anti-affinity property. So the first thing again is affinity. Then comes pod anti affinity. All right. After this, uh, again, the same uh, property required during scheduling ignored during execution. So there are two, two properties uh, present at this uh, point, uh, required during scheduling and ignored during execution. And there's another one which is preferred during uh, scheduling and ignored during execution. So if you use the preferred one, so even if uh, uh, the scheduler does not find any node with that particular label, it will schedule it on any other node which is present, right? But if you do a required, then it will not schedule that particular pod. So that pod will stay in pending state, right? Just for your FYI that was. Next thing uh, for pod anti affinity comes label selector. And inside this we match expressions again oh, sorry key was power again operator operator and use in so there are multiple operators also present i'll put the link for the documentation in the description so you should probably go through that right and values the value which we wanted was run right and one last important property that goes in here is topology key. I think just checking the alignment. 
topology key and for this I I'll explain what topology key is first let me put the thread I think Cooper it is dot io backslash host name so let me just double check this in the documentation and I'll I'll be back in a second this is uh, what what was topology key so let me just go th over through this right so what we are doing is we are defining a pod anti affinity rule uh, which would be ex i mean which would be executed during scheduling and it would be execute ignored when uh, during execution right so only during when the pod is brought up the first time this rule will apply and if you remove the labels later on when the pod is running nothing will happen to that particular pod right then what I'm doing is I'm defining label selectors and I'm looking for any pod which has the label of say key is equal to power and value is equal to run and then I want that I mean this pod not to be scheduled on any node which has the same topology key right so this is what this particular uh, key over here is defining so say suppose the pod which has this uh, key as label and value as run is scheduled on say worker node one right so that is the host name of the uh, worker one worker one right so this pod will not be scheduled on the node which has the same host name which is worker one so ideally this pod would go on worker two so right I hope you understand this that's what I'm saying this is a little confusing and you will get this with practice only and mind you this question does feature an exam so practice all right so let's see if we have not made any mistake this thing should work but I don't know I'm getting the feeling that I would have made some mistake and Kubernetes will throw an ugly error apply hyphen f pod 2 so okay great so we we haven't made any mistake right so let's just quickly do cube ctl get pods so you can see pod 2 has gone on worker node 2 so I hope you got what I was trying to show you so it looked for any pod which had those particular label and it looked for the topologic key of the host name which is worker one and it scheduled that pod because we set the anti affinity property right on any other node which had uh, the host name a different host name right so if we would have had say a couple of more workers this pod would have gone on to any of those uh, uh, nodes right but since we only have two workers it went on to worker two all right so this was uh, actually pretty gruesome and uh, i hope uh, i mean you probably have to watch this video a couple of times to actually understand what's happening in uh, node affinity and pod anti affinity right but these are very useful properties uh, when you are running big deployments and you would want your pods to be spread across multiple uh, worker nodes right so this is it for this video guys i hope you liked the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and yep thank you for watching